Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let us see the model question paper of Basic Electronics and Communication Engineering. This is paper 1. In the other video, I have discussed paper 2 also. Let us get into the question paper now. How the question paper pattern will be? This question paper will be consisting of 10 questions. Out of 10 questions, you need to answer 5. Means, from each module, you need to answer one full question. It means, from module 1, there are two questions given means question number one and question number two will be on module one in between they have given it as r so we need to answer one full question from each module like that it will be now let us see the questions in question number one they have asked the block diagram to explain the working of dc power supply and principal components used in the each block for this question there are two block diagrams given in the first chapter first topic itself that carries 5 to 6 marks and 1 or 2 marks will be given to the explanation. So explanation in brief it is required. In question number 1b mention advantages of negative feedback in amplifier circuits. There are 5 to 6 advantages need to be answered here with respect to the negative feedback is concerned and then with relevant equations and diagram explain the concept of negative feedback. For this circuit is needed a negative feedback equations are needed. A feedback output amplifier output and then the amplifier gain overall gain that much equations are needed and then the waveform with respect to the negative feedback output of the feedback need to be shown for 180 degree feed phase shift so that carries seven marks and then one c is how operational amplifier can be worked as a comparator this is a direct question here they have asked to write the circuit diagram and the waveform with that you need to answer with a small explanation also that carries six marks this is what the first question is. In the second question with the same module they have asked to write the explanation for working of bridge rectifier. So bridge rectifier is asked here. Here it requires circuit explanation as well as waveforms that carries 8 marks. Your circuit and explanation gives you only 4 to 5 marks with waveform as well as the working for positive half cycle and the negative half cycle gives with the remaining marks. So write a note on frequency response characteristics of an amplifier circuit clearly mentioning the half power frequencies. So here the frequency response of any amplifier will be drawn by using gain versus frequency curve. So in that curve we need to take the half power frequencies means at the half power point means reduce 3 dB lower in y axis and write a line is parallel to x axis. So we are going to get two points so that is what the frequency f1 and f2. So that much we need to write and explain in brief about the frequency response and the half power frequencies. List and explain the conditions for sustained oscillation. Up to here it, it is a theory question. Uh, we need to answer with the conditions for sustained oscillation. Two conditions are there 180 degree plus 180 degree 360 degree phase shift as well as the gain will be equal to 1 and determine the frequency oscillation of a three stage ladder network this is rc phase shift oscillator problem c and r is given directly we can substitute and calculate the frequency of oscillation here three stage is given three stage is given means it is root six in the equation then module two in module two the first question is design three bit asynchronous up counter if they are asked to design means we need to write everything with respect to the up counter is concerned truth table and then the circuit diagram we need to write the explanation also. With a neat diagram, show the typical input and output blocks connected to a microcontroller unit. The microcontroller diagram is there with CPU, memory, input output ports, switch, loudspeaker and all that need to be written here with explanation. With the help of timing diagram, explain how D by stable is going to work. So D by stable circuit need to be written here and then timing diagram means with respect to the clock signal input D we need to write how the output will be generated this is a waveform and in the next question design full ladder using two half adders here read the question carefully design the full ladder using two half adder circuits this question will be answered with truth table and then a circuit of full ladder using two half adders and r gate and explanation related to how the full ladder output will be generated and how two adders half adders are going to be connected and design a four bit shift register using jk by stable this is a direct question again 
everywhere write a block diagram write a truth table and then sh showing the shift here how the shifting will be and then brief explanation is required write a note on dif different types mentioning the bit size and range of values supported so here they are asked to write different data types different data types here are uh, the data can be a binary it can be a hexadecimal it can be decimal and bit size can be starting with a bit it can be a byte or it can be a word or a double word like that and next is module 3 that is embedded system the first thing is explain working principle operation of operation and applications of a stepper motor so here stepper motor physical circuit need to be written a coil and in between a rotor and all need to be shown and with respect to the operation is concerned half step rotation and full step rotation what values we need to be given to the stepper motor and with respect to the microcontroller connection is concerned we need to write the answer for this since it is asked for 8 marks write a note on classification of embedded systems the classification of embedded systems can be explained briefly on what basis we are classifying bring out the main features of UART and USP here UART and USP will be explained with respect to the block diagram and the explanation each carry three marks and let us go to the next question question number six give the classification of transducers with examples there are many transducers given in the syllabus here it is asked for six marks so some six to eight transducers uh, in different categories need to be explained with a simple explanation bring out differences between risk and CISC Harvard and Van Neumann again this question will be having two parts one is risk and CISC processors and Harvard and Van Neumann architectures it is asked for six marks so four to five differences for each concept need to be written define actuator and briefly describe the following actuators relay fuso buzzer so two actuators are asked here so it may carry six marks and definition of the actuator carry one marks and uh, description of this relay and fuso buzzer may carry two more marks so that is how the marks allocation will be describe the blocks of communication system so communicate modern communication system uh, block diagram they have asked here need to explain each and every block in brief define the following terms modulation carrier uh, communication system baseband communication system with neat and suitable waveforms here we need to explain these concepts what is modulation what is carrier what is baseband in communication system and we need to write the waveforms also of those waves and need to explain in brief so each carry two marks explain the following with the help of waveforms pam pwm ppm pcm waveforms need to be written and what is pam what is pwm ppm and pcm need to be explained in brief explanation since a PAM carry two marks, PWM carry two marks. So for waveform there will be one marks and for brief explanation and the expansion of what is PAM, PWM may carry one more marks. In question number eight, define sampling theorem. Here we need to write the sampling theorem first. Explain when aliasing is going to happen. When aliasing will be occurring, they are asking. So after definition, we need to explain about the aliasing and in this certain condition aliasing has, is going to be occurred and also mention the different ways in which aliasing can be avoided define the following terms multipath constructive destructive um, interference coherence time coherence bandwidth and delay spread these are the small small topics and we can define this in uh, two three lines we can write about that for 10 marks define an antenna and discuss different types of antennas uh, he, here what is antenna carries one or two marks and the different types they have asked so since one marks is given for the different definition another uh, three types of antennas we can write that carry three marks so the last module that is fifth module draw the schematic diagram of cellul cellular telephone system and define its basic components so here the block diagram will be there for cel cellular telephone system a neat complete block diagram need to be written and we need to define the components present in that cellular telephone system block diagram for six marks here the marks allocation will be three plus three or four plus two explain optical fiber communication system with a block diagram block diagram carry three marks and explanation may carry three marks with the help of diagram explain the following types of network topologies attack network topology and infrastructure network topology they have asked 
here we need to write the diagram for these two and a little bit explanation that marks will be splitted as 4 plus 4 so total it is 8 with the help of architecture figures explain the evolution of GSM and LTE GSM to LTE so the evolution levels need to be written here 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G like that so it carries 8 marks each evolution carry 2 marks list the requirements identify for the 4G technology here we need to list out what are all the requirements we can identify for the 4G technology this is just carry 4 marks 4 to 5 points are enough draw the block diagram showing the basic elements of a satellite communication system and briefly we need to explain so there is a block diagram which is um, giving the basic elements of a satellite communication so the brief explanation is required here we need to explain little bit um, lengthy so that it carry full mark it gives full marks okay for eight marks they have asked that's why block diagram carries four to five marks and other remaining marks will be for explanation this is what the model question paper is in the similar way you will get an question paper a final examination so it can be a good reference to study so that uh, some six to seven concepts are have covered in one module so there are few other important questions also not all the important questions will be covered in a single question paper so one more question paper is there that is uh, set two this is you can see here model question paper one it is so model question paper two is there let us discuss that also and model question paper solution will be uploaded after this video of model question paper one and two you can refer that uh, for how to write the answer killer question thank you